Hi guys, Dustin here with another NASCAR diecast review. And today we are taking a look at Austin Dillon's first pole 2014 Daytona 500 car. This is the box. You'll understand why why I got this and hard to believe in fashion as well. What's amazing about this car is it's autographed, and I will explain why. A sticker. Only 1,608 of these are made. We'll take a look at the diecast identification number when we get around to it. Alright, let's zoom back. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. It's a, it's a 124 scale stock car from 2014. Yes, this is actually one of the first 2014 cars I have ever reviewed. It's from Platinum Action Platinum Series, ARC Action Racing Collectibles. Produced by Lino Racing, the official diecast NASCAR. So, we're going to go ahead and take off this top part. It comes off like a glove. I actually have a Lino Racing golden ticket in there, but I'm not going to open it since this is autographed. Okay. It's a little commemorative card. Austin Dillon, 56th annual Daytona 500 pole winner, Daytona Beach, Florida, on February 16th of 2014. Career start, this is his 14th career start, his first career pole with a speed of 196.019 miles per hour, and this is actually career top 10, which is the Daytona 500. There's only one. Back. Dylan and the number three topped the leaderboard February 16th at Daytona International Speedway. 13 years since the iconic number three was last seen in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. We all understand why. We all understand about the last time it was seen on the racetrack. Austin Dillon qualified the number three. Dow. Chevrolet has had some time lap of 196.019 miles per hour, put him front and center for the Daytona 500. In his return to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, the number three Chevrolet SS was driven by Dillon to a top ten finish for Richard Chobers Racing. Okay, there was actually something a little bit about this. When I first heard that the three car was coming back, in 2014, I felt bad. To be honest, I was livid, I was angry, because nothing ever replaced Dale. Well, I actually finally realized that the number three car never actually belonged to Dale Earnhardt. It actually belonged to Richard Childress, and he could make the call whether he wants to have the number three car back in, back on the track. And there was a video surfacing on the internet, I'm sure it's positively true, about Dale Earnhardt determining about Sin 3 car back on the track after he dies. After he died. Well, actually it was before, but I'm sure it was. This is a little different than the 2015 ones, which I actually like. Let's take the top off. There's our car. Well, the pole car. And yes, I did met Austin Dillon. He was a nice, cool guy, and he actually signed the windshield of the car. But we're going to take a look at the features of the car. 
I'm going to go ahead and unscrew, unscrew the collar. Be very, very careful. Still has the screws on the bottom, just like all normal cars would have. I actually basically like the clamshell cars a lot better than having the screws in. Because if you strip the screws out, there's no point. So, yeah, I know, it squeaks real badly. Alright, there we go. Uh, if you're actually wondering what's up with the, the drop of water, uh, actually there was a little, I think it was a little bit of caramel up where this back dowel is, right back here, and I actually got it off. So there's no harm to it, so we're all good. Okay, so here is the car itself. I'm going to take a little good little walk, walk around. Actually, you got a better idea with this. Oh yeah, and it did cost me fifty bucks, cause you, cause before I re review it, I'm gonna explain why. Explain how I got it autographed. Okay. When I was at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the running of the Bolts of Honor Quick Trip 500, there was actually an Austin Dillon appearance at the uh, Fanatics tent, and we saw the sign that says that says of all the appearances, and the, whoops, the only way to participate in it is if you uh, get a well buy a $25 item from the Richard Childress Racing Fanatic store, which I did. This actually cost me 50 bucks, so it counts as two. It did count as two, but the register rung up 45.98. So I was I was told to, but they gave me one ticket. So they went back, they corrected it, and so, and after me and my friend, my adopted little sister, got done with a Michael McDowell appearance at the Team Chevy Fan Zone. We went to the Fanatics tent, tent got in line for the Austin Dillon meet. And he did took time to take pictures as well and sign cars. I gave my mom an American Ethanol card for him to sign because she didn't have anything. Actually helped out my adopted little sister, and had also known sign his nationwide hero card. Yeah, the rude one, the R E D one, and later he turned around and said to one of his security guys, "Go with her and go get a Aus go get an Austin Dillon hat. It was like a twenty-five dollar one, and hard to believe." She came back with that same hat, and he actually autographed it. I was like, what is going on here? So that was my first thought. It was like, right after I got done. And, I went back, we went back to the Team Chevy fan zone. And, we saw Ty Dillon there. He was actually waiting for his brother, Austin Dillon, because he was also doing appearance over there as well. And he actually, he actually, I actually have my Cheerios card from 2014. He signed that, and it was like three in a row. And it was a big home run. It was a big, huge autograph haul for me. Right? And I tried getting his autograph that Saturday when he was up on the Quick Trip stage. 
the Bolts of Honor stage, and he ran out with when he saw it. I was like, dang it, close. So. So, here's the car. This is Chevrolet SS. Dow Chemicals. We got Austin Dillon's signature. That is his real signature, by the way. Just give everybody a heads up. Got the iconic number three. They actually got the diecast identification number. This one is 598. My friend actually got a 599. And someone actually has diecast number 600. I was like, what? <laughs> and the best thing about this is the rookie stripes. Since 2014 was Austin Dillon's first year in the Spring Cup Series. He won the Xfinity Championship in 2013. Which had the black, white, and red, which looks cool. Real authentic Goodyear tires. You can actually see inside the engine. Here's some of the smaller, small, smaller sponsors. There we go. Now you can see it all clearly. They actually have the uh, Spring Cup Series. The, they actually have the Coors Light Pole winner. The yeah, you got your Coors Light Pole winner right here. Auto Mirror. Jags, Flowmaster, and also got the uh, Sunoco Rookie of the Year contender, since he is actually one of the rookies in 2014. And more spots like Kroger, Cheerios, Bass Pro Shops, American Ethanol, Safety Clean, the University of North Ohio, Realtree, and here's this B pillar. I should get focus. Hard to get this thing to focus. Oh, well, that'll be as close as I can get. I actually have his Twitter up here. And a uh, funny thing is, Austin Dillon actually has me blocked on Twitter. So, uh, hey, Austin Dillon, if you're watching this, please unblock me. Actually, you have the inside. look around on the other side and we're actually going to take a look at the inside of the car as well Let's see inside of the car you actually have the window net over there in the background you have the seat and the steering wheel the onboard fire extinguisher Everything is accurately detailed inside. So smaller sponsors. Well more more of them right here, right next to this Goodyear tire. The Mahala engine bearings. Sunoco. I actually like the way they actually done the grill. For the chef, for the Chevy Chevy SS, the first time they they did they brought in the SS models was in 2013. So we're gonna go ahead and open. Actually, we're gonna look at the underside. The underside of the car. We actually, have turning wheels. We actually, have the exhaust and the transmission. Roof flaps do open. And everything runs to runs down. You have the transmission right here. Right. So we have 
we'll go ahead and pop open the trunk or the deck very carefully there we go I'm gonna see if I can try get the hood open from back here alright hood open we're actually gonna take a look at the inside of the engine first here's the inside We have Dow and the Chevy bow tie underneath the hood in the engine. It says Chevy SS engine. We go right around back, and we actually have fuel, the red fuel tank. actually see it real good in there. I don't have any light. I actually have a light that's actually looking down in there. Oh, it looks amazing. This car is amazingly detailed. And this is actually our first ever Austin Dillon car as well. Which actually makes it kind of a win-win right now. The Daytona 500. Well, this is that. Not only this is also our first ever Austin Dillon car, this is actually also our first ever Daytona pole car. Also a second car with the number three as well. I like this car. And a big thank you to Austin Dillon for signing it, by the way. It's been it's awesome meeting you. I hope you win, win a race sometime sometime this year. It'll be great to see you in Victory Lane. I'm going to close this up and, and conclude the review. Uh, anyway... My name is Dustin, and I will see you later.